The American-made M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle is not a tank. It's a battle taxi for infantry. But with a little luck and a lot of crew prowess, the 30-ton, 11-person M2, with its 25mm autocannon, turret-mounted tow anti-tank missiles, and side-mounted reactive armor, is more than a match for even the best Russian-made tank. This isn't hype. In a recent skirmish on the outskirts of Avdiivka in northeastern Ukraine, a pair of M2s belonging to the Ukrainian Army's 47th Mechanized Brigade, the sole user of the roughly 200 minutes and minus 2 seconds the United States donated to Ukraine, tag-teamed a Russian Army T-90 tank and wrecked it. The brief, brutal fight, one of hundreds that have raged in the three months since two Russian field armies with 40,000 troops first attempted to surround the 10,000-strong Ukrainian garrison in Avdiivka, was observed by a Ukrainian drone. In the drone's video, which circulated online on Friday, a pair of M2s engages a single T-90. On paper, an M2, even two M2s, is no match for a 51-ton. Three-person T-90 with its 125mm smoothbore gun and hundreds of millimeters of composite armor. The T-90 gets the first shot, and misses. After that, the M2s outmaneuver and outshoot the T-90. One M2 peppers the tank with 25mm rounds as it speeds past. A second M2, rolling the opposite direction, takes over where the first leaves off, and pours autocannon rounds into the tank at close range. An M2's autocannon fires one-pound shells at a rate of 200 per minute and a velocity of 3,600 feet per second. Paired with high-fidelity optics and accurate fire controls, the 25mm gun is brutally effective. In one clash outside Avdiivka, a single M2 struck and likely destroyed three Russian MTLB armored tractors in the span of just 30 seconds. A T-90 is much better protected than an MTLB is, but it doesn't matter. The Bradley's unrelenting fire apparently kills the T-90's driver and commander and leaves the tank badly damaged and uncontrollable.